Hello friend, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVP Nuts video series on algorithms and this video is about why binary search is better than ternary search. So if you don't know what is ternary search, I'll give you an example. So in binary search what we do, we have a space which is sorted and then you always divide this space into half so that either you will choose the left one or right one right and then you will similarly do if you're going for the right one then you will do the same thing like you will divide it into half and then you may choose to go left and right of this one okay so this is what we do in a binary search now in ternary search obviously you might have guessed that if it is binary meaning you are divided into two ternary meaning you will be dividing this into three so in each and every iteration as we divide this binary search into two in each and every iteration you will divide this into three so as you can see that you had this one comparison to decide whether you will go for the left one or, or the right one here you have two comparisons this comparison one and this is comparison two so every iteration you have two comparison whereas this is one comparison to choose but here good part is you have one third space left whereas this is one by two and this is very smaller so you have very less space to search compared to this one but still I'm telling you binary search is more famous you know that so why ternary sort is not good if it can divide space into one third so let me erase this so as I told you that you have one comparison in binary search and two comparisons in ternary search actually if you look at the program you will find that in binary search you have two comparisons one is actually you will compare whether the element is found or not if it is found then it is done otherwise where you will go left or right so there are two comparisons whereas in ternary search you have four comparisons okay so if I will write the formula for this it would look something like this we have two times log base 2 n plus order of 1 so this is for binary search and for ternary search we have 4 cross log 3 because we are dividing space into 3 now and n plus order of 1. So this order of 1 is like how much time you take to reach to some place so that you can compare that with another one is a constant time like it's an array so you can directly jump to that element and compare. So this is like not in the consideration we can remove this. Yeah, now, now you are going to compare these two. If you will do a little bit of math, this would get converted into log 2n and this will be like 2 log 3n. And now we have to compare these two to come up with a solution whether this is good or this is good. So let's try to compare these two. And what we are doing here is we are comparing log 2n with 2 log 3n so this can be converted into something like this we have 2 multiplied by log 2 divided by log 3 multiplied by log base 2n okay now you are comparing this one with this one so these two elements are same meaning you are going to compare this constant so here we have nothing meaning 1 1 into this right and this is going to get compared with 1 it is obvious that this is greater than 1 if you calculate log 2 divided by log 3 multiplied by 2 you will get that so it proves that this particular constant is greater than 1 that's why ternary sort is not good the constant is playing a really very big role here generally in algorithm computations and analysis we don't care about the constants right but here it is really very important role playing factor so if i will tell you you have to compare with log 2 to the power n and log 2 n with some number x multiplied here and number y multiplied by here and y is less than x which one is taking more time this one because x is greater than y meaning this whole thing is going to take more time than this so that's why we always use and there is a proof that you divide your search space into half then it is 
supposed to perform really very good as compared to dividing this whole thing into three or four because we have the options right because when you write recursive functions so you write like this only right R recursion you will give first half here so first half and recursion second half will go here and then here you will do whatever the operations you want to do with, with those first half second half I mean I'm just talking about the merge sort here because that is a very good example to explain this so it is proved I have not proved it I have just proved that binary search is better than ternary search and what I'm talking about is there is a proof I am not explaining that but I have gone through that paper and I know that there is some proof existing which tells that if you will divide your space into half exactly half then it will perform way better than dividing your space into multiple spaces and, and then looking for the particular space but you know what <laughs> actually in algorithm world you cannot say that one algorithm is good than another algorithm no actually it depends maybe this one algorithm is performing good 99% of the time but this is also good for 10% and what is that 10% you have to see the data and most likely what you will search all the time so I hope you would have understood what I was trying to explain here so I'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care